Hey guys, my name is Tots and today I'm bringing you a very exciting video filled with information on Advanced Warfare. With Call of Duty Advanced Warfare just around the corner, there's been a leak which shows a full set of map names, all the weapons, game modes and images for all the guns. There is a link in the description that will show you all the images for all the weapons, but I can't show it here on my channel as it is leaked content. Now, without further ado, let's get into the list of maps. There are 13 maps being launched with the game and one bonus pre-order map, making 14 in total. And they are Ascend, Biolab, Comeback, Defender, Detroit, Green Band, Horizon, Instinct, Recovery, Retreat, Riot, Solar, Terrace, and the bonus map is Atlas Gorge, which is a remake of Pipeline from Call of Duty 4, which I'm personally very excited about. Next, we have the game modes, and they are Team Deathmatch, Hardcore, also available in Team Deathmatch, Free For All, Momentum, Uplink, Search and Destroy, which is also in Hardcore, Search and Rescue, Kill Confirmed, which is also in Hardcore, Domination, which is also in Hardcore, Capture the Flag, and Hardpoint. Now let's go into the weapons. This is the important information that everyone wants to know. In submachine guns, we have the KF5, the MP11, the ASM1, the SN6, the SAC3, and the AMR9. Next, we shall move into the assault rifles, which include the BAL 27, the AK 12, the ARX 160, which is like a return from the old Call of Duty games, the HBR A3, and the IMR and the MK 14. Now, that is a single shot in all the other Call of Duty games, so I'm wondering if it's going to be very powerful since the last one to unlock. Hopefully it's not overpowered, but hopefully it's a good single shot rifle that rewards people who are accurate. Next we have the smallest subclass of weapons, the shotties. And they are the TAC-19, which has been, you'll have seen a lot on YouTube. The S-12 and Bulldog is making a return from Ghost, which I personally love as a shotgun. Not too good a range, but you can unload quick and fast when you're in them close quarters situations. Next we have the heavy weapons, which include the EM-1, which is the laser weapon, the Pytech, the XMG, the SPM-3, which is also another laser weapon, and the Ameli. And finally we have the sniper rifles. This is what most people like to see because, you know, everyone loves a good, you know, time having a snipe, you know, quick scoping, it's a lot of fun feels rewarding when you use them so a lot of people like to have a look at the good look at the sniper rifle list because it makes or breaks most of the games if there's good snipers or terrible snipers in advanced warfare there is the lynx the moors the na45 and the monster that is the atlas 20 millimeter this thing is like a 50 cal on steroids it's absolutely huge and i'm i'm looking forward to seeing how how this plays in the game you know how fast you move with it is it going to be quick scope wet worthy or is it just going to be one of them ones where you sit and hold down the site because it takes that long to pull it up Um, hopefully it's a good gun now remember all of these weapons there is an extra version of every single one and they are like the enlisted version, the professional version, the elite version which are the same weapons but at the at the heart but they all perform a slight bit differently so you can find the one that matches your playstyle the best you know it might be a bit less accurate but you know might give you a bit more movement speed that might be what you want to get in close and kill people you know aim, like hip firing so hopefully that brings a whole new level of diversity to the game and like makes it more fun and less stale after a while because you've got all these different weapons performing in different ways now guys i hope you've enjoyed this video 
if you have smash that thumbs up button and subscribe for more advanced warfare content in the future including an unboxing of the limited edition console that launches thanks for watching guys and peace